Nickelodeon and Dan Schneider are receiving a lot of backlash after Jeanette McCurdy's memoir. Let's find out what Ariana Grande has to say about the matter. It all started with Jeanette McCurdy, releasing her memoir in which she talked about her horrible experiences as a child actor. She's quite a famous actress and has worked in shows like iCarly, Sam and Cat and Malcolm in the Middle. But Jeanette wrote an autobiography, which got recently released, and right after that, Jeanette's memoir became the talk of the town with its shocking revelations, including the one about Dan Schneider. In one of the chapters of her book, she wrote that the creator of her show shouted at her quite often and forced her to shoot uncomfortable scenes several times. Now, just know that Jeanette was just a teenager at the time and was very vulnerable because she didn't have a functional family. Fans are pretty sure that the creator that Jeanette mentioned was Dan Schneider, who made Victorious and Sam and Cat. Dan already has a bad name for treating his child stars cruelly, and Jeanette even revealed in her book that Dan forced her to reshoot her first kiss seven times with Nathan Cress, and it was very awkward for her. She also claimed that she was under drinking age during the time of the show, and yet the creator provided her alcohol quite often just to loosen her up. Now this is something really disturbing, and Dan should definitely explain himself. Since the release of this memoir, fans have come forward in support of Jeanette while Dan Schneider is in the news yet again again for his bad behavior. In fact, Dan had to part ways with Nickelodeon back in 2018 because of shouting at his employees and using foul language. Jeanette's fellow star Josh Peck has shown his support for her. His words were, I think she's incredibly brave to tell her story and to be as honest as she is. I think one of her great talents is her wit and how thoughtful she is and as soon as I was able to pick up the book, I did because I really wanted to see the way she told her story. But apart from its controversies, Jeanette's book is actually good and it tries to to show who she really is. It also talks about her rivalry with Ariana Grande, which was said to be the reason why Sam and Kat was discontinued. Back in the day, the rivalry between Jeanette and Ariana was all over the news and people actually thought that the two didn't get along. And it was true to some extent. Jeanette confessed to being jealous because the creators favored Ariana greatly over her. Jeanette had to say no to multiple movie offers just because she was starring in Sam and Kat, but Ariana's career was completely supported. The creators went out of their way to let Ariana pursue her music career and even change the script at times just for her convenience. Things like this were never done for Jeanette, which made her feel unwanted and obviously very jealous. Jeanette blamed Nickelodeon for not treating her and Ariana equally, and that's where these rumors of rivalry started. Also, Jeanette was first told that she'd be the lead of this show until Ariana came around and took the spotlight. She also revealed that she had to act with a box for a whole week because Ariana couldn't show up at the shoot and had something else to do. So the creators changed the script and pretended like Kat was stuck in a box. However, Jeanette has grown up now and she says that she wouldn't trade places with anyone, no matter what. In fact, the two might be in a good place now because Jeanette wants Ariana to read her memoir. She said in an interview, I don't know if she'll read the book or not, but I think it's a really entertaining read regardless of who you are, so I hope she does. After reading what Jeanette had to say about Ariana, fans also realized that her co-star probably had the same experiences while being a child star in Sam and Cat and Victorious. Moreover, a video of Ariana Grande has resurfaced, which isn't just cringy, but very disturbing to watch. The video is taken from a site, The Slap, that was launched during the first season of Victorious. The characters used to share unique content and funny videos of the show so people could feel more connected to them. On this site, there is a mini-series named Cat's Random Thoughts. It's written by Dan Schneider, in which Cat Valentine, played by Ariana, tapes herself and shares her thoughts. Just recently, a fan shared a part of that miniseries in which Ariana is doing things that most certainly look disturbing. She was just 16 at the time. And in these videos, she's seen cracking double jokes such as, oh man, my uvula got stuck between that hamster's toes. And that's not even it. Ariana is seen putting her toes in her mouth, moaning while juicing a potato and poking a finger down her throat. And all of these clips are extremely uncomfortable to watch. Now think about Ariana who had to act in them. People are pointing out that Ariana never really talks about her role as Cat Valentine and it's all because she was objectified by Dan Schneider. There's yet another scene where Ariana is wearing only a bikini top and men are shooting at her with water pistols. As a teenager, such scenes would be traumatizing to shoot and even the person sharing these videos wrote in her tweet, Let's not forget Ariana is a victim herself from the creepiness of Dan Schneider. Another tweet read, 
This always makes me nauseous. Imagine directing a teenager to do that stuff as a grown man. A lot of people are speaking up for Ariana now because these scenes might be funny for teens, but for adults, they're extremely disturbing. The viral clips show us how Ariana was controlled at Nickelodeon and how Dan made her do all these scenes where she certainly looked disgusted herself. It's pretty evident from these videos that Jeanette isn't the only victim of Dan's creepy behavior, and he did the same with Ariana too. However, when Dan Schneider was interviewed by the New York Times back in 2021 about objectifying child stars, he denied all of these allegations. So much so that he called them ridiculous and said the comedy was totally innocent. Dan further added, I wouldn't have been able to have the lasting friendship and continued faithfulness of so many respectable people if I had mistreated my actors and actresses of any age, but especially those who are minor. He also said that a lot of child stars found that it was difficult to work with him because he had very high standards, but he never meant to make them uncomfortable. Nonetheless, no matter what he says, there have been multiple instances where Dan has made the child stars feel very awkward, and that's never okay. But fans aren't keeping calm and are considering this behavior of Dan borderline creepy and disgusting. Though for anything to be confirmed, Ariana would have to speak up and talk about her relationship with Dan and whether she was treated well or not. And for now, fans are convinced that Ariana was objectified, much like Jeanette, especially after Jeanette reveals that she was even photographed in a bikini when she went for a wardrobe fitting for iCarly. This memoir by Jeanette has made things a lot more difficult for Nickelodeon and Dan Schneider because fans can clearly see the sheer objectification of a child star. Fans are even claiming that Dan has a foot obsession, which isn't that bad in itself, but he mainly directs this obsession towards kids. Back in 2013, Schneider tweeted and asked the kids to submit photos of their feet. In another instance, he posted a picture of a girl's feet and made his fans guess who she was. And for any regular person, this behavior would be extremely alarming and a huge red flag too. This attitude always explains a lot why most children that work in these shows end up having dysfunctional lives and having episodes of panic and depression. The way these kids are treated at such a young age is just disgusting. When it comes to Ariana, she wasn't safe from Dan's obsession either. There were scenes where ketchup was smeared all over her feet and close shots were taken or she had to put her feet inside her mouth. Any teenager wouldn't be comfortable with doing such things. And it's pretty clear from these scenes that Ariana wasn't very pleased either because she looked disgusted and her body language also wasn't very chill and relaxed. Dan is also known to hold pool parties where he was often photographed inside hot tubs with child actors. So if Ariana does decide to speak on this matter, it's definitely going to be shocking. Fans also want Ariana to take a stand for herself and for all the other kids who never got a chance to share their experience with the world. And with the influence that she has, it's definitely going to change a lot of things for child stars. Ariana doesn't usually talk about such things, mainly because she tries to stay away from controversy as much as possible. But fans are hoping that she will at least say something in response to Jeanette book, or at least show her support for what she's gone through. Besides, fans are even saying that Ariana was a bigger victim of Nickelodeon because she was always seen doing quirky things on screen, and all those scenes were written by Dan. Fans are pointing out that it's high time to stop blaming the victims and actually speak up against big names like Nickelodeon and Disney, who continue to back men like Dan Schneider. What are your thoughts on this matter? Tell us in the comments section below, and thanks for watching.